Noob2 here, and today <coughs> we're going to be doing a video. I've been hyping up this video for a while now, so let's just do it. So I recently completed Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and I thought I would give my thoughts on it. So this is the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon review that I've been talking about for a long time now. So my personal thoughts on the games, they were great. In many respects, they are better than Sun and Moon, uh, but it mostly has to do with the actual... Alright, let me explain. So, I felt like there is more in the post-game than in the main game. Uh, I think there should have been some more stuff in the main game for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Uh, I don't know, there wasn't too much of a change, really. But in the end game, there is a huge change. I do love the end game. I'm currently in it. I have recently completed the Rock Rainbow Rocket episode, which the Rainbow Rocket episode is pretty... It was pretty good. Um, it was a bit difficult, which is understandable, but it it was a pretty good episode, in my opinion. Um, it reminded me a lot of the Delta episode, which I think this is better than the Delta. Uh, I just stuttered there. I think that, uh, yeah, I think it is better, though, than the Delta episode. I woke up not too long ago. Why am I doing this? So, it's great. Um... The, once again, there should have been more in the actual main game, but they didn't do that, so I guess that would be okay. Um, if they do improve a bigger main game, maybe in the Nintendo Switch games, which, uh, we'll talk about that a bit later. Um, the games were great overall. I like how you can catch every single legendary in the game. That was nice. Um, the Ultra Wormhole segments, they're a bit harder to control, so I wish they made that a bit easier to control. But that's pretty good. The new costumes you can wear, that's great as well. Most with the Nintendo games in 2017 having it so you can wear costumes. Like, different variety of costumes. We got freaking Mario Odyssey, and we got Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Sure, you could do it, it in the um, Sun and Moon, but eh, who knows. Well, this game's overall was great. Uh, I felt like my team for this game was better than in Sun and Moon, so it made it a bit easier to get through everything, which my next video is going to be a part two video about my Ultra Sun team part two. I'm already hyping up videos that is, it's going to take seven years to complete. Um, the games, once again, amazing games. Highly recommend them. I would give the games... All right, so Sun and Moon, I'd probably give a... 8 out of 10, but Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, I'm probably going to give a 9 out of 10, because they are, they are mostly the same, but there are some very nice aspects they added to this game. Um, there were lots of mini events, which is a bit, it's cool that they added them to give a bigger post game, but once again, they should have just added more to the main game, instead of saving it all for the post game. I don't know. And also seeing this how Ultra Sun, well, Sun and Moon came out literally last year, I wouldn't expect people wanting to play the same game twice already. But, eh. It's a good game. I do like it. I would highly recommend it. Um, my, anything else I would like to say? Ooh, okay, I wanted to say this real quick. In Sun, Ultra in Sun and Moon, you had to collect the Zygarde cells. In this game, you don't have to do that, thank God. And it's really nice. Uh, this time, you get to collect um, totem stickers, which basically you can get a totem-sized Pokemon when you get a certain amount, which I'm saving up for that totem Mimikyu. I'm not, I'm not lying. Because <laughs> I, I want my Mimikyu to be totem-sized. That would be freaking awesome. The new Zim crystals that they added is pretty nice as well. Um, overall, this game was just really nice. Uh, you do get Ploiple as a gift, but I do sort of think that Ploiple should have been, uh, in a Beast Ball and not a Pokeball. Um, but eh, it's fine, I guess. Overall, once again, great games. I recommend them. And that's really it. Um, hopefully the 2018 games are going to be good as well. I, they are going to be on the Nintendo Switch, so hopefully they are going to be a good 
welcomed game to the Pokemon franchise. Uh, hopefully there are like the landscapes like in Super Mario Odyssey or Breath of the Wild. From what I've seen, those games they look nice. So I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that the next Pokemon games will look like that. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good day. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. All that stuff. Mimicky Gaming. Signing out. Yeah.